Perhaps you've been an absolute hermit, and somehow I'm your first recollection of whatever this man versus bear issue is, but as a man, I'm going to let you know that it is a very stupid take of would you rather encounter a bear in a forest or a random man? It's like, really? You'd rather encounter a fridging bear in the forest compared to a random man? And to simplify most ma of the male portion of human civilization's thoughts on this is that it sounds completely ridiculous, and I, for one, agree. But I thought about how this whole scenario is even possible. Because the scenario goes completely over the head of human preservation, and I think that I have been able to rationalize this whole scenario to where it actually makes sense. But let me first show you a few clips of this whole thing, and I want you, before I say my thoughts, to uh, try and rationalize what these ladies are saying and why they're saying what they're saying. Because I promise that it actually makes sense on the whole. Okay, this whole bear versus man debate, I would obviously choose the bear. Are y'all realizing that myself and other women are saying bear because we would quite literally rather die? And then we have some people saying, well, not all bears. Just because one bear did it doesn't mean that all bears would do it. You shouldn't be scared of all bears. Let's get a lineup of bears and you show me which one I should be scared of. On TikTok right now, women are responding to the question, would you rather encounter a bear or a man while alone in the woods? And most women are saying that they would rather encounter a bear because they believe they are safer in the presence of a bear. I choose the bear and I would choose the bear over and over again. Even if I was mauled by a bear, I would still choose the bear. Here are some of the shocking comments that we received on our man versus bear video. Bears won't chain me up in a basement for 20 years. You know what to expect from a bear. If I get attacked by a bear, people would believe me. The worst a bear will do is unalive you. Now, something that I've done to rationalize this is take it as a political statement. And the reason for that is because now this is a suspicion, but somehow I doubt that the suspicion is wrong. You typically hear this man-hating type of rhetoric from more left-wing people. I mean, you know how it is. Typically, womanism is left, and typically those against womanism is right. But the problem with just taking this as a political statement is because even the most womanist of womanist believing people are still typically hindered by their biological wants. You hear this all the time of a womanist woman wanting a masculine man, even to the point that you go on TikTok and you constantly hear women complaining that men today are childlike. What happened to men pursuing girls? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore or put in any effort? It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put in effort anymore. They don't really care to. Like, why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort? Did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves, yearning for a guy and chasing him. That is, I feel like, the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone because men don't put in effort anymore and don't care to put in effort. Can someone please tell me where the masculine men are out there? Seems like there's more men nowadays that want to be the woman in the relationship. What happened to the chivalrous man? They're far and few between. But if you are them, where do we find you? It's not at the local Home Depot. I've seen that trend. Like, oh, go find your man at Home Depot. No, the guy that's there on a Saturday morning is there because his wife sent him there to get the shit to work on a project. Maybe I can find you at Costco in the meat market. But literally, wh what happened to the masculine men? Where do I find you? Where do women in general find you? And when did men become such little dusty boys? All right, rant over. Do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had? Was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide. Who is not a conservative? And so, if it isn't a political statement, then what is it? Well, the statement is a political statement, but it is more of a geopolitical statement. For example, let's take the most left of left type places like New York and the most right places like Texas. And so, instead of it being man versus bear, it is now New York versus Texas. And now, let me get to the meat of what I want to say here. Texas is a place where you can get a pew-pew and have it not be a problem by the masses. 
but New York, while you can get a pew pew, it is heavily stigmatized where women would rather you have no pew pew in the situation of an intruder entering your home. They would rather you go full on commando with your fists against a criminal who is already doing illegal stuff, so who knows what other illegal things they may be doing. And now, let's get to the mashed potatoes of what I'm saying here, cause I'm making a full on spread of properly cooked food here. The steak was made with some garlic and rosemary while based in butter, and now the potatoes are being sieved for the absolutely most fluffy meal ever. Though, to continue, we have Texas where you <clears throat> use the equalizer. Uh, wait, uh, let us make some more steaks in this dish. Let us say that the man in this scenario of man versus bear is a man who is a well-known <clears throat> uh, grape enthusiast. And so, let us backtrack with the now foreknown bit of information of whom this man is in this situation. So, once again, Texas versus New York, and we are looking into this situation like we are in Texas. If you, or the woman in this case, equalize the situation while being in Texas, you are a lot less likely to tango with this grape enthusiast because he went to a la la land. And on top of that, what are the chances of you going to prison for sending that grape enthusiast to la la land? But let's envelop this a bit more and say that the woman in Texas picks the bear. Well, she then goes to La La Land, cause the equalizer ain't gonna do anything to that fridging bear. Now, let's flip the script and say that you're a woman in New York. You probably don't have an equalizer, but for example purposes we'll say that you do have one. Would you rather pick the <clears throat> grape enthusiast, man, or the bear? If you use the equalizer on either the man or bear, it doesn't really matter who you choose. What are the chances of the police still citing you as being the problem case? And then you get sent to prison for using the equalizer. So, then the question becomes, would you rather either let the grape enthusiast have his way because you don't want to go to prison, or get rid of that grape enthusiast but still go to prison? Or would you rather have your soulless body go to prison because you chose the bear? To me, this whole question makes a lot more sense when thought like this. But you let me know. Do you think that it makes a lot more sense when looked from a geopolitical view or not? But enough of that because within our community's traits, I want to add something that I forgot to add that is important. That being critical thinking. Be better and live with the rules of truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, self-control, and consistency with your words and actions. Go with power and knowledge that you're listening to the correct side of life, and I encourage you to spread the word of this community to everyone, because in this landscape, everyone can benefit from it, and it would be selfish of you to hide it. But you should also sustain that you will leave with the understanding that you will be a better person for being alongside us all. But without further ado, have a good one.